natural dietary fiber for your health. When people look at the nutritional content of foods, they tend to concentrate more on calories, protein, fats and vitamins. Most of the time, people forget to consider the dietary fiber content of foods. In recent studies, it was shown that less than half of the population gets enough fiber in their diet. Taking more fiber will greatly improve your natural health and well-being. Here are some facts about dietary fiber you should know. What is dietary fiber? Rough age or dietary fiber is the indigestible part of plants that travels through the digestive tract. It helps the body absorb more water and improves the removal of wastes. It also helps in the absorption of nutrients and other chemicals. Fiber comes in two forms. Soluble fiber dissolves easily in water. Foods high in soluble fiber are oats, peas, beans, apples, citrus fruits, carrots and barley. Soluble fiber is the one responsible for lowering blood cholesterol levels. Taking enough soluble fiber can reduce your risk of developing heart diseases and stroke. Insoluble fiber does not dissolve in water. It passes through your digestive system in its original form. Most of your insoluble fibers come from the bran layers of cereal grains. Insoluble fiber increases bulk that your body needs to maintain intestinal health. This type of fiber prevents the risk and occurrence of hemorrhoids and constipation. Knowing the benefits of getting enough fiber in your diet. Soluble fiber. Lowering fat absorption and helping weight management. As a thick, spread out gel, soluble fiber blocks fats that would otherwise be digested and absorbed. You feel fuller longer when you eat food with high fiber content. Fibrous foods also have fewer amounts of calories in them. So, no matter how much fiber you eat, you won't have to worry about the number of calories you are taking in. Lowering cholesterol. Soluble fiber prevents some dietary cholesterol from being broken down and digested. Over time, soluble fiber can help lower cholesterol levels or the amount of free cholesterol in the blood. It has also been studied that fiber can also lower your blood pressure. Maintaining a good blood cholesterol level puts you at lesser risk of developing heart diseases, stabilizing blood sugar levels. Just as it prevents fats from being absorbed, soluble fiber slows down the digestion rate of other nutrients, including carbohydrates. This means meals containing soluble fiber are less likely to cause sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. Enough insoluble fiber in your body is also said to prevent development of type 2 diabetes, reducing the risk of cardiovascular disease by lowering cholesterol levels, stabilizing blood sugars, and decreasing fat absorption. Regularly eating soluble fiber may reduce the risk of heart disease and circulatory conditions. Feeding healthy gut bacteria, some soluble fiber-rich foods feed gut bacteria as it is fermentable in the colon and so it helps the bacteria thrive longer. Insoluble fiber Preventing constipation As an indigestible material, insoluble fiber sits in the gastrointestinal tract, absorbing fluid and sticking to other byproducts of digestion that are ready to be formed into the stool. Its presence speeds up the movement and processing of waste helping prevent gastrointestinal blockage and constipation or reduce bowel movements. Lowering the risk of diverticular disease By preventing constipation and intestinal blockages, insoluble fiber helps reduce the risk of developing small faults and hemorrhoids in the colon. It may also reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Soluble and insoluble fiber Feeling satiated or full longer after meals. Soluble fiber slows down how quickly foods are digested, meaning most people feel full longer after fiber rich meals. 
insoluble fibre, physically fills up space in the stomach and intestines, furthering the sensation of being full. These properties can help people manage their weight, helping lower disease risk. Due to fibre's many health benefits, a high fibre diet is associated with a lower risk of many diseases, including obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, metabolic syndrome and others.